I am now going to demonstrate how to do a gram stain. The gram stain is a differential stain. A differential stain requires the use of multiple dyes. At the end of this particular differential stain, we will be able to differentiate between a gram positive and a gram negative bacteria. The gram stain's four steps in order are first application of the primary stain, which is crystal violet. Second step is application of the mordant, which is iodine. The third step is the decolorizer, ethanol. And the fourth step is the counter stain, safranin. To complete a gram stain, you must have previously made a smear on your microscope slide and heat fixed your sample. This slide I am demonstrating with is a heat fixed sample of bacteria. To complete my gram stain, I will apply my primary stain, crystal violet, to the area of the smear. I must allow this color to sit on the slide for one minute. For purposes of producing this video, I'm going to pretend that one minute has already passed. Once one minute has passed, I will shake the excess crystal violet off of my slide. At this point, all cells on my slide would be purple from the crystal violet. I'm now going to apply my mordant iodine. Applying the iodine makes the gram positive cells which have a thicker layer of peptidoglycan hold on to that primary stain. The iodine must sit on your slide for one minute as well. Assuming that one minute has passed, I am now ready to apply my step three decolorizer. Holding the slide over the sink at an angle, I will drip the ethanol onto the top of the slide letting it run down. I'm going to let this ethanol run down the slide until I no longer see any purple streaks. I am now ready for step four, the safranin. I apply the counter stain. At this point, my gram negative cells will turn pink. My gram positive cells never lost their purple color when the decolorizer was added. I allow the safranin to sit on my slide for one minute. Once one minute has passed, I will shake the excess stain into the sink, grab my bibulous paper, making sure to keep it upright, place it in the bibulous paper, and pat it dry, changing the pages repeating the procedure until the slide is completely dry. This slide is now ready to be placed into a microscope to be focused. If the cells appear purple, they are gram positive. If the cells appear pink or red, they are gram negative.